Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee Nar in the Morning. It is hump day. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> and I have my little ring light here, which was doing fine till I started going through this stack of papers. I went on a shelf, one of my shelves. Um, I, well, actually, I cleaned five shelves this morning before I came on. I cleaned five shelves to make room for books and color books and journals and stuff. So some of these stacks of old journal papers had to come off the shelf. So we were just rummaging through and reminiscing some of these old, um, from 2010, 11, some of these old journal pages that have been sitting on a shelf. And um, so, yeah, anyway... It, it, the lighting's better when you don't have a foot long, tall pile on the table. So let me move this. I'm almost done with this pile. We're down to this. We're down to this much. So let me just move it over here because there's. I got my new ring light here. The little. It's just a little selfie ring light, but I think it helps concentrate the light right here. So except there's a, always a glare when you got a direct light. But anyway, so I'm just going to finish flipping through these real quick. This one, this one was um, from 2011. Some of these need to go in the finished collage pile like this one. But most of these, and these are old. If you watch my uh, Ustream slideshow, like before I come on, you can see, you know, it just flips through a random slideshow at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning of the, before you go live. Hey, Janet. And before you go live, I have a slideshow. Well, this is these are some of the ones that are still on my slideshow from 2011. I haven't changed or updated my Ustream. I think I've added a couple things. I think I've added a couple things, but I think some of these are all still on there. So let me move that over here. Um, so anyway, yeah, I wanted to go through and then see that I got all these random... Um, um, journal pages that I've deconstructed different journals and um, see I've deconstructed them and so I got tons of these backgrounds and starter collages and all this from back I don't know how long some of these are pretty old <clears throat> so you can see this one well this one's 2012 so that's not too far that's not too bad I guess <laughs> and then I got some random lemurs and owls I started doing a compass rose thing here something else with a door here's one of my uh, painting I took a lady out of a magazine and started painting her in um, yeah so anyway we're almost done with this stack here's another one from 2011 see look at this see how beat up it's getting but, um, yeah. But this one is one of my favorites. I showed it, I think, before I hit record. Where is it? Did I put it in here? This one. This one and this one. I love these two. This one is, and they're, again, from 2011. This one's all the marbles. He's losing all his marbles. <laughs> button yeah but oh button you should finish it you should finish some of them <laughs> you see I, I have four altered abandoned books I'm working on I have one two three four die um, the you know the ranger the big thick books um, I have four of those <laughs> that I'm working on um, this one I call the seed of life and this is blood platelets um, magnified so I really like this one see the earth back there this is one of my favorites the themed theme wise it's one of my favorites not necessarily technique wise so and they've all been so piled up together with pressure on them and so it sounds worse than it is really they're not that they're not that crunchy here's one that okay so I did this collage and I did a painting based on this uh, of Darcy UK I thought this looked like Darcy UK and there's my Mona this one needs to I need to pull this one out I wonder if I could put my hands on it Hang on, let's see. Mm. Hang on, let me flip through my 
canvas panels. So for a while, well, for quite a while, I was making collages, okay, I was doing collages to, as a sketch. They, they were my, collages at first were my sketches. Well, now I want to say at first because I've done them for a long time, but I was using, for a long time, I was using collages as sketches to make paintings from. Yeah, Darcy... Darcy UK used to have long red hair. I don't know if she still does, but uh, I just thought this reminded me of her. So I did a painting. Here's my painting that I did based off the collage. And it's glossy. It's got varnish on it. I did this one in 2012. So I took this, this collage and, and made a painting of it. Sorry the flash out, but I'm trying to get used to the new ring light. So yeah, that one I think I need to pull her out because I, I love my Mona on the other side. This, these are from sketchbooks, guys. <clears throat> these are from sketchbooks. And they have meanings to me. The things in the, in the, in the, they, they have meanings to me, but I usually leave, and this is how I tell y'all this all the time when I'm doing collages. I don't, sometimes I'll give it a title, like the Seed of Life one, but most of the time I just, I like the people to be their own interpret, they interpret it themselves. So when you look at my collages, or any, you know, or paintings based on the collages, I like to, you know, for you to use your own, what do you see in it? You know, what do you see in it? So, again, I can't get it too close to the ring light. There's all kinds of little lettering and words and stuff all mixed in this one. Um, let's see. Do I need to pull this one? I like to pull this one because some of these I can get ideas off of. All right, let's see what else we have here. Here's another girl here. Some of them are half finished. Some of them are just started paintings. You know. Anyway. Uh, see, this is out of a sketchbook. Because I, I can tell by the paper. Another some little. This was a this was a double page spread in a. Let's see how did it go. This was a double page spread. It went, no, it went this way. Yeah, there we go. Like this. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's not that. It's not that easy, Pacola. And then this is. Um, a, this was out a double page spread. And there's a, some kind of a lemur. I think this was, a, I mean, a llama. This was a start of one of my big posters. This was the sketch for the poster. And then this one was a stencil. This was out of the napkin journal. This is a page out of the napkin journal. We were, when I flipped through the napkin journal a while back, where's the rest of it? <laughs> I don't even know where the rest of my napkin journal is. But that's what this is. This is out of the napkin journal. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Some more bits. Oh, look! <laughs> Janet! Look, Janet! <laughs> this pile A random pin pin. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see if it still works. It still works. <laughs> I wonder where that pin went. Yeah, random pin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait. I messed up my uh, <laughs> bump. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go through this last little bit here. Then we'll get on a project.
this was out of a binder or something. I have rings in it. Okay, so some of these, this one, I remember something about I was going to do with that. All different little stories. Little stories. Some some stories are further along. Yeah, I'm all set. Yeah. Some stories are further along than others. This girl, I have a couple of collages with her. She was out of a magazine some years ago. She is, I think she's like the prettiest woman I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I know that sounds weird, but she is. To me, she is the prettiest person, the prettiest woman and she has another one that shows her back. She has the most beautiful back. Anyway, I think she's stunning. She reminds me of the closest person, the other that I've seen. And look at that. Look how the brush strokes are in that. I don't know what I was doing. I know it was Mod, I mean, a matte medium, because I never liked Mod Podge. So I'm not sure why I got uh, brush strokes in that. The, the, the woman, and I don't even know her name, never really looked up her name. In The Mummy, I think it's the second mummy, the, 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 the Egyptian princess that, that's with the mummy, she is stunning. Okay, this one right here, this was a tool that looked like, it reminded me, y'all remember um, Mystery Science 3000? Dark I've got well Pacola here's the thing Pacola's asking to do a series of shows about how to start collages every collage I do Pacola I do that every collage I start at the beginning now if I'm doing an altered book I'm starting with the base right but all my every one of you know I got four of these in process every one of these started as a blank page these all started as blank pages, and and you, and I show how to do every one, or not maybe not every single one, but the majority of them, how to do a collage from start to finish. <clears throat> so it, it's out there. It's in one of my look at my playlist. We're over 900 videos now. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, so anyway. Um, on YouTube, recreated the girl with the ferret. Yeah, the girl. I think it's called the girl with the pearl earring. I think that's it. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Whoops! Oops! I already showed this one. That one needs to go in that pile. Okay, we're whittling it down to. And this is just the big pile. I mean, the when I say big pile, I mean the larger papers. I have stacks that I pulled off the shelf this morning because, like I said, I cleaned off five sh or rearranged and cleaned five shelves this morning before I came on. And so um, these are stuff I pulled off the shelves. Now they don't have a place. They have no home. These have no home now. <clears throat> Mommy's name girl is Patricia Velasquez. Villas Villasquez. Villasquez. How do you say that? Velasquez. Villas. Yeah. She is. I mean, she's just to me beauty. Beauty. Okay, so this looks like part of. This is a two-page spread. Did it go this way? Yeah. So that was a two-page spread in a journal. <laughs> Here's, um, okay, here's where we showed how to, to do um, black and white or gray. We took, a, we took a calendar page and did a drawing there. Just some random feathers, some random, more ran, random collage, Mona. So anyway, yeah, these are all out of art journals that I've deconstructed. I will deconstruct an art journal in a heartbeat. I'm telling you, I'll tear apart an art journal. <laughs> in a heartbeat. Here's my blue bird of happiness. I don't know. Here's some random starts. Starts. 
I'm turning them sideways, so. I think these two go together. I think they went, yeah, they went like this. This, was it this or this? This is, I wonder if I, hang on, let me look at my paintings again. Hang on. Just a minute, I'm going in. Hang on, I'm flipping. I'm flipping through my canvases. I don't know if you can hear me. Hang on. Was it this one? It's one of these. Is it this one? No, that I thought it was that one. This one's similar. I was thinking it was this one, but it's not because I have I have it here. This collage right here. So let me show you how you, I took a part and turned it into a painting. This is actually a stencil that I painted. Uh, that I it got crusty. This is like a running joke with uh, Paula and me. Glued a, an actual stencil on this collage. But anyway, I loved this. I love this part of the collage right here. So what I did is I photographed it. I took a picture of it. And this was the stage that I took it through for you guys. That's a different one. That is a different one. Okay. So I took it through some different stages. Let's see. I took a photograph of it, blew it up. And then I did a painting. Well, it's not done, but I still... Because <laughs> I really just like this lock and key or the, the, the metal. So here's where I started doing a painting of it. Of this, of just this right here. This right here. No one could claim you aren't protective. <laughs> I know, that's for sure, Miss Aroma. This right here is this painting well it's more than just that but you know and so uh, yeah I know it's got a glare on it but there we go that's better so I really like that so we did a show one time on how to take a paint a collage through its stages so yeah and I'll show one more hang on where is it my bird um is this it? No, that's not it. Well, I was going to show you one more, but I can't find it, so... Anyway, I was flipping through my canvases, my uh, flat canvases, but I can't find the bird one. Okay. Oh, this needs to go back over there. Because the next time I want to look at it I won't be able to find it okay I have no idea what we're doing here more this was a double page spread that way and then here's just some pictures of some of my collages So again, these are just some of the little ones. I love this one. This one I, I made a print out of. This one hangs up. I have this one hanging up. I like that one. Um, okay, so that's the end of this stack. Well, I have another stack this big of smaller ones. And I'm just going to have to figure out. Yeah, hump day's friend. <laughs> But before, I, I showed this before um, I hit record, so I'm going to show it again. So, and I've told the story before. So I came across this. <laughs> this is an ad out of a magazine. And, you know, he's my, he's my favorite actor. Anyway, well, it, it, I don't know that he's the best actor, but uh, he's, he's my handsome, my most handsome one. Anyway, so I always love Sean Connery. 
And uh, when Hubster and Boo were sitting together, I think she was about four or five. I don't remember, really. I think she, she had to be probably about four. She was pretty little. She might have even been younger, but I don't remember. They were sitting together when they were when they were she was here and they were sitting together and he was flipping through a magazine and he came across this ad. This was a popular ad a few years ago. And he he looked at Boo and he goes, Boo, your nana loves this. <laughs> and Boo looked at the ad and she went, Oh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> She zoomed right in on the back, because that's what he's advertising here. He's advertising the Louis Vuitton travel bag, right? <laughs> so, anytime I see this ad, <laughs> I always, um, yeah, I always uh, tell that story. Okay, so, I got a couple things I want to do today. I guess uh, the girls voted for, um, yeah, I know, I loved him in The Hunt for Red October. I love that movie. I love him in that movie. Um, so, yeah, I really got my bookshelves. I got one, two, three, four. I actually got six. Well, I moved one and cleaned off five and rearranged. So, I got my some color books. Uh, I got to move some of my color books and art books and sketch, you know, other journals and everything. I moved them all around this morning so it feels a little bit more open in here. I still would like to get, there's a lot to do. I need, really need two more bookcases in here, but I have no more walls. So there's literally every, every space in here is, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 11 bookshelves, and then I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 3 towers of drawers in here. I had to move two of my towers in the other room. You know, the pull-out drawer towers. So then I've got this big table that's an L. It's like two tables. This where I'm sitting here is like two tables. I've got one of these tables right behind me that's got completely got color books all under it. And then I have my drafting table. So which usually stays full of stuff on top of it. So I'm really trying to whittle it down. If y'all see Sue's come in, I gotta tell her that joke when we laughed this morning. <laughs> if y'all see Sue's come in, tell me. Me, Terry, and a couple people before we hit record. <laughs> okay, so um, they voted and they wanted to do an altered, um, one of my altered uh, books, The Abandoned, Abandoned Places. I know, Terry, right? So let's see. Let's go back to my original Abandoned. I don't know that we've worked in the original one for a while. Okay, so you see, I got my lamp there. I got my little ring light, which is probably great for... Okay, so it, maybe it won't be so glary, just where it's real shiny like that. So I got... Um, I did a little quick unboxing on Monday of the a ring light. It's only a $20 ring light. It's, it's <laughs> And this was a funny thing. It's really made for selfies. The ring light's this big. Which I just wanted a little ring light concentrated, you know, right here to keep my light stable, if you will. Because uh, like right now the sun is beating through and it's still staying, it's not flashing out. I mean, it got a little brighter, but it's not completely flashing out. So I think that little ring light, and it has a cool light and a warm light switch. So I can switch back and forth between cool light and warm light, but of course I like the cool light. So anyway, it has it has a clamp, and then it has the arm for a selfie stick. I mean, a phone. It's got the arm to put your phone on, you know. And then it's got the arm, uh, the other arm, with the little ring light. And and you have to plug it in. It's not a rechargeable. But anyway, so I've got it clamped up here on my build, and then I've got the cord running into, and it's plugged into um, my iPad charger you know, the, that size, and, um, hey, limo, and so, and cat, kangaroo, azure, anybody else I missed, and, um, so anyway, it's, I think it's working out pretty well, except that if I have something real shiny, like, uh, like, I'm going to give away Bailey J's, see that, see the shine, so, 
<clears throat> but otherwise, it seems to be working fairly well. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm going to do a quick flip through here. See, like this one's been varnished, so there's a shine. Because it's got the varnish on it. I only got a couple that have really completely varnished. So, I think we'll work in this. Uh, I do. I might have to actually close the blinds a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we haven't worked in this one in a while, so let's uh, let's go ahead and flip through here and see what we want to do. And then I'm going to do a separate video. Um, well, maybe I'll do it. No, maybe I'll do it at the end. Well, yeah, I think I'll do it in a separate video. That it's easier for me to keep track of. I want to do the giveaway for the Bailey J book. But I think I should probably do a separate video of that. Because I can keep track of who's commenting. Because if somebody comments on this. And I don't know if they're commenting. You know. It's just easier to keep track for me on a giveaway. I love this page. So. If you have any questions. Put them in caps. If you're watching this recording on YouTube, it's a live chat on Ustream with the live mostly awake people. And uh, so, yeah, I was I was just doing some cleaning this morning. That's why we took a little rabbit trail on hump day. Took a little rabbit trail to go through some of that old stuff. Uh, but anyway, so this is what one of I have four um, different abandoned books. I have this one's the original one I have, and some of the edges are stuck together because I didn't put uh, this paint right there. I didn't put paper between it when I when I painted, so some of the edges. So it's kind of good to do this to make sure none of the edges are stuck. Um, I have this one, Abandon America, Forgotten Heritage, and Abandoned um, Theme Parks. So those are the four books I'm working in. <laughs> And, oh my gosh, I saw Abandoned Castles at uh, bo uh, Books a Million over the weekend. And I said, no, no, Dee Dee, do not buy that. You've got four books you need to finish. Four. Do not buy Abandoned Castles. So I didn't buy it. But here's an Abandoned Castle. Well, that's, I think it's Abandoned Church. And uh, we just reinvent the world. Reinvent the world. This is one of my favorites, too. And I know I flipped through these a hundred times, but, you know, since we're going to work in it, we're going to flip through it again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Let's see what page strikes me. This one's done. And it's and I keep saying I'm going to varnish a page at the end of the show, and I always forget. But the varnish I use, I'll show it again, is the Delta... Ceram coat, can't get it close to the ring light. Delta Ceram coat gloss exterior interior. Now, I know that I think Michael stopped selling it. I think Hobby Lobby, I don't know. I, I still have another jar and a half, so I haven't run out yet. But I'm sure you can get it online, Amazon. But it's Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. And you don't need much. And usually I'll put, like, on a page like this, I'll probably put the size of a half dollar, squirt it once with water, just once. I don't want it too watered down, but just to get it to flow. And then use a uh, foam brush so that there's no brush strokes and, and varnish. So, you have to, no, I don't have to do abandoned castles, no, no. This one's done, and most of what I say they're done, they still have to be varnished. And, uh, but we do, we have done them on stream. This one, I think I need to do this one, because I've had, see, I've had this here, people have requested this one a bunch of times. So maybe we'll do that one. But I love this one. I love them all. I love them all. This one's done. And one day we went through, I had some of these just tacked down, like this car. I just had it tacked down with some glue stick. And I went through one day and we spent the afternoon gluing everything down. I'm trying... For the first, it's a lot of work, but fun. Yeah, it, it is. They're, they're fun to do. 
And if and I try to find anybody, any of the YouTube girls. And if you're watching this, if you're watching this because it's the abandoned book, and and the people that do the abandoned books watch my abandoned book segments. If you are one that has a YouTube channel and you are doing the abandoned book, like uh, Nana's Place, Tracy, uh, there's a few girls that um, I know, and I try to get over and watch their their sh their shows when they do their abandoned uh, segments. If you are if you have a YouTube channel and you're doing any of the abandoned books, please leave a link to your now it might go to spam so I'll have to you know approve it out of the spam folder if you put a link but if you are watching or doing any of the abandoned books leave me your uh, YouTube channel and I'll go watch it and uh, and leave a link and you know let everybody else go watch it too <laughs> yeah and it's not everybody's forte <laughs> it's not everybody's thing and again, if you if you like the idea of doing an abandoned book, I mean doing an altered book, but you don't like abandoned places, then you know we've talked about it before. Get you a book that's you know a theme you like: architecture, gardening, animals, plants. You know, and there's you know there's a book on every animal. If you like birds, get a bird one. Uh, this one here. This is Abandoned Places. And this is one of the four that I'm working out of. And so I'm working out this one today. So I'm just kind of flipping through and seeing what page I want to work on. And I love this one too. I mean, I love them all. This was the last one we did. Um, this one here. And I can't hold it up because the ring light won't let me hold it up close. But when I go to work on one, I think I'll zoom in one. But we did, this is the last one that we did on stream. And again, I don't add many people to my collages. Some of my older ones, as you saw earlier, my starter collages, they have some people in them. But I really kind of, the more I did on stream of, of collages, the less people I started putting in them. Um, yeah, this one's done. This one's in progress. I just glued down a bunch of stuff. Glued that down on top of this snowed out area. Which one is Mary doing? I don't know that Mary, is Mary doing an abandoned book? She's doing, I know she's using some children books. I don't think, I, if, unless it's new. Because I usually keep up with Mary. Mary Altia, Altia. Um, I don't know that she's doing an abandoned book. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I know she's doing alt, altered books. I think she's doing... Uh, a history is it a history book button okay I was thinking it was a children's book but I think she's combining a children's book and a history book and in a children's book or or a smaller book like that is a great one to practice um, if you're not wanting to do a full big book you know Tracy was working on this one I got some glue in the middle there uh, Tracy was working on this one. I just all I've done so far is glued these uh, panels of uh, sky or space on there. That's as far as I got, and I didn't let it dry, so it kind of stuck right there. But that's as far as I got on this one. She's doing a textbook, okay? This one's done. A little man right there. See the little man right there. This is glued on. This one's done. This is one of my favorites as well. We added all the... I say we because if I do it here with you guys I, and I'm talking with you and I say we did it. <laughs> Just because you're company. So while you were here, we did this. We did the paint of the water here. Did all the sky. Um, glued down this planet, glued down this watch and all these planets and did all, painted all this. 
<clears throat> this one is done. And again, when I say done, this, they haven't been varnished. But um, when you do varnish it, you need to leave it out open for you know a few hours. I usually leave them out open overnight just to make sure. But that varnish does not stick your pages together. Uh, and neither does the, my golden matte medium. Everything that's glued down here, unless it's just tacked down for the minute, um, everything is glued down with golden matte medium. Hey, Julie Topaz. Anybody else I missed? Kalora. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Did I disappear? I my it doesn't say that I uh, I left. So maybe so, maybe some of y'all just need to refresh. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed something Button said. Let me see if I can scroll back right there. I was saying I like the stuff she is doing in the book she choose. Yeah. Which is my newest abandoned book. The um, the newest one I have is the uh, uh, abandoned um, theme parks. This was my first one here. There's a video on this one. And I love this one too. This one's tempting me. Might go with this one. I'm just saying. I'm feeling this one this morning. Feeling this one. I think we're going to go with that. Let me just continue the flip. So you can see I just got some random things glued here. I love this one too. This is one of the first ones I did in this book. Uh, all the people were there. And I got rid of all the building down here and turned that into space. And that looks like they're looking down into space. Oh, okay. Thanks, Button. And I also have the abandoned calendars. They, um, uh, I think I bought three or four of them. And I've already cut them up, a bunch of them. I think I have one that's still pristine. Oh, this one, this was a fun one. We we have, we need to get back to this one. All the sky, like right here, there's one little part. This, well, maybe I did end up covering it all. But anyway, we used a, whatever little bit of sky was there and then painted our own sky in with the sun peeking through there. And then all this down here is all blended in paint to match this right here. And so, I don't know where we're going with it yet, but I'm liking this one. I don't think I've seen that abandoned book theme parts. Yeah, I've done, I've done a flip through it. So, just look in my uh, mixed media playlist. And there's probably a picture of it on the thumbnail. I try my best to label, you know, as much as I can. Come on in, honey. I tried to do as much as I can, but, you know, 900 videos. Are you going out? Yeah, the children are locked up. In the the children? And the diva's running loose. Okay. In the house. Yeah. Okay. All right, don't, don't let her in. I don't want her in. <coughs> or we have to herd the cats and keep them separated. Keep the two new ones away from diva. Um, you like my, oh, you like that sky? Yeah. Thanks, guys. We can't have pristine. <laughs> uh, see, this is another one that's got uh, the sky. Got, I've added a little bit of blue in there, but, you know, it's still. And a little bit of paint down here. And this one I didn't like. I didn't like. The, I was trying to do turn these waves into feathers, and I just didn't like. I, I probably didn't take enough time with it. But, eh, you know, it is what it is. Not everyone has this one still in progress. The only thing I've done here is paint that and add the balloon. These are all in progress. Nothing. I got a little bit of paint on there. This one's done. <clears throat> I really like this one too. The tiger, the lily pads, and the fish coming out through the sky. This is just glued there. And this is painted. This is painted. She's glued on. That's painted. So the deer. I finally went ahead and glued the deer down. Because I knew that's where I wanted him to be. But um, I had him just kind of tacked there for a while. But I, I, I decided I wanted him there. 
that's all it's done here in the mist. The mist there. Okay. This one's in progress. I painted, there's a whole bunch of wires. There's a lot of uh, phone lines. I painted all those out. So, this one's in progress. So, and then I got me some... So I don't, I, I, I'm supposed to use these so I don't glue my pages together. But I think I'm going to go with this. And I gotta remember to do the separate video, uh, just a quick video, you know, a flip through Bailey's book and a giveaway. So I want to, I want, I meant to give it away last week, but I just never got time. So I'm gonna try to do that, make a quick video, just doing a little flip through. And you know, I just like Bailey. I like her channel. I like her vlogs, and um, so I wanted to support her and bought the book. And you know, I'm just gonna give it away. How's the binding hold? Oh, the binding's great. These bindings are not, it's not nothing happening to this, baby. It's a sewn binding, see? It's a little curved because I've worked more in the front than the back. And if you don't want it, if you don't want your spine to curve at all, work front to back. I see I need to work more in the back so that the, the spine, you know, doesn't get any more bent than that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is let me get some paints here. I'm going to make sure some of these have wet paint on the bottom. Like, let me just throw that away. Yeah, that's got wet paint on the bottom. Here's one. That's dry. Uh, I'm, the first thing I'd like to do is get rid of any text. And right there, I think, has there's just a little bit of shine. But I think my ring light's really locking in my light for me. It's not perfect, but, you know, we're, we'll get, well, I don't know if we'll ever get perfect, but, you know, it's holding the light the same. And that's what was bugging me. It was kept, it's not flashing now with that light. Okay, so I'm going to put out some black. And this is like gold in here. That, you know, that would be pretty to put some gold in it. Um, but anyway, for now, we're going to go with, uh, let's see, I'm going to pick out some colors that, this one's almost empty. I need to replace Burnt Sienna, although I have some other similar. But let's put a little Burnt Sienna. And let me, I'll just write that color down. As I get low on colors, I usually start a list. Uh, I know, right, Button? Thanks, guys. Yeah, the co it's because I got my ring light right there. We're like literally right there. Um, and it's it's working good. It was only a twenty dollar selfie stick ring light, but oh, I think I started saying this a little while ago. But what's weird about it? It's supposed to be. It's a you know. It's got a clamp, but it's got the arm for your, um, to put your cell phone in, and it's got the little ring light. Well, it's obviously not meant to go anywhere. For one, it's got the clamp. But number two is that you have to plug it in. It's not a rechargeable light. You have to keep it plugged in. And it's got the USB port cord, so I have it plugged in over here on my extension bar uh, into my um, iPad charger. Yeah, I guess you could just plug it into your laptop, too. You know. So, <laughs> hey, hey, Karen. Anybody else popping in? Okay, so those two colors, some white and gray. Here, let me get another. That's wet, I think. Let me get another. See, it's got blue. Okay, that one's dry. Um, so, we'll get some white. And I always put out more than I need. That's why you should have a desk journal to, you know, scrape this stuff up into. Uh, some browns. Maybe some chocolate brown. Oh, here's antique maroon. That might be too red. Yeah, better go with brown. There's my chocolate brown. Raw umber. No, that's too, not the color I'm looking for. Here, here we go over here. <clears throat> Burnt umber. I just need a dark brown. Wait, I think I like this one better. 
chocolate, dark chocolate. There we go. And some blue gray. My usually my slate blue. I love me my slate blue gray. Or oh, blue. Let's see. Uniform blue will work. It's not it's not quite as bright as slate, but Okay, so I'm going to go with those colors. And I'm just going to paint some stuff out. Then I'm and I haven't even picked collage stuff or nothing yet. But I'm going to go ahead and just paint in some, you know, get rid of some of the edges and all that. And oh, I need my baby wipes. And I think I'm good. All right, so I'm going to make sure that my paper is all the way to the edge where I'm going to paint this out. And I usually just start with my fingers, you know. That's usually what I start with. Oh, I probably should get a little bit of uh, yellow ochre. Well, we'll get that next. So what I'm going to try to do here is get rid of the edge and make it look like it's. you can't tell where the edge is. I'll do some scraping on it too with a palette knife that blends it in, in as well. So I think I want this a harsh edge there because these steps. So that'll look like that. I have no plan. This is there's no plan. Usually on my abandoned books, there's not a lot of plan. As I go, like a story comes to me. You know, a story starts forming. But when I first start out, I might think, oh, I, I kind of have an idea where I want to go, but. It's nothing concrete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go over here to the blue. All right. <laughs> What's Colly saying? Now should I guess I feel more comfortable later on with it? I missed something Colleen said. Are you working on something, Colleen? Amazon watches me? <laughs> Why do you say that, Colleen? I totally... Good morning, by the way, but I totally missed something you said. All right, so I'm going to get those two colors now. Whoops, I need to put my paper up there, otherwise I'll glue them together with paint. Amazon just told me you bought it in 2000. You bought, you have this book, Terry, since 2016 and you haven't painted in it? I love hearing crinkle paint. Oh, I do too. And hi, Prisma. I love me some ASMR moments. I do. I love ASMR. I don't usually just go to them and watch them, but there's those times like when Jean was doing... A crinkle she was crinkling something and I could just sit and crink, listen to the crinkle forever you have not worked in your book at all Terry at all not one single page are you afraid are you being a big chicken Terry or you just haven't had time because you know you did just move to a new state <laughs> okay I think I want I'm liking that blue here, here, but there's not much of it over here. So I think I'm going to get rid of this and put all this in that color. Maybe I'll leave a little window showing there, but I want I want this blue over in this area. Are you a big chicken, Terry? We know you're a cougar, but I didn't know you were a chicken cougar. <laughs> And I think I want some right up in here, too. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and... And it, some of the areas are little. You might have to get in there with a the brush. I mean, I just like finger painting in these books. But, you know, some areas are very tiny. You just, you know, your fingers just aren't quite small enough. Crinkle paper sound. Yeah, I know. I need to. Chicken cougar. Yeah need a drawing of that a chicken cougar let's see would it be a cougar with a chicken head 
Or would it be a cougar on a chicken body? <laughs> I don't know if I have a chicken. Wait a minute, Terry. I gotta go to my soundboard now. <laughs> Sorry. Rabbit trail or chicken trail. <laughs> okay, we got we got the now let's see, do we have a chicken? <clears throat> I think, sh I'm sure we do. Hang on. I'm looking. There's a rooster. There's, <laughs> there's crickets. I'm looking for a chicken. You might just have to settle for a rooster. <laughs> I'm looking. I don't see a chicken. There's a cow. Oh, there it is! There it is! <laughs> I feel like a mix master! Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, Mermaid Jan. Anybody else I missed? Hey, Zig. <laughs> this is you need to say you have time in the Um, Janet, you need. To, didn't you say? Did I see you say you have a haul to show us? Oh, Missy, you're gonna stream that as soon as I'm done here. <laughs> Janet's got a haul. So, yeah, we will be expecting that today. Just saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, hey, Belle. Don't think Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, I don't, th I don't think he's, there's any danger of taking Snoop Dogg's place. <laughs> you know, know what I mean, Vern? I don't think there's any danger of that. <laughs> Okay, so there's a little bit of a glare there from the, the the ring light. I might have. Let me see. Let's let's turn the ring light off just to compare, shall we? Let's do a test. All right, I'm gonna turn the ring light off. Here we go. And now it's back on. So you can see, I have to adjust. If I turn the ring light off, I have to fix my own lighting. <laughs> Yes, Janet got happy mail. I have some happy mail, but it's no big deal. Well, pff, all happy mail's a big deal, Janet. We were excited that I found a Sharpie stuck to an old paper. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I don't, not sure I like this. Well, I kind of, I guess I could tie that green. There's some green there. I mean, it's bright green. That's some bright green. It doesn't, it's not really showing up as that bright a green, but. I know. I like the new light, too. I know. Now, see, the thing is, is if I turn the light off, that's where I've had to adjust the lighting myself. I've had to brighten it, you know, adjust the exposure and all that to make it look normal. And then it always would fluctuate. Even if I took the, even if I locked it in, took the autos off of everything, it still would change. So, we're going to just have to deal with a little bit of glare from the ring light. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. I need another baby wipe here. So, the other thing, let's go ahead and start with a little bit of, you know, you know what I probably need to do before I start scraping is I need to find my collage pieces. So, let me set my paint aside for a moment. But, yeah, I've got it taped. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to move the camera. Y'all ready? <laughs> I'm going to move the camera. All right, so the camera is literally, like, here's the camera, here's the ring light, right here. They're right next to each other. So I got the camera. Let me just kind of take it off the thing here. Wait a minute, I got it taped down. Wait a minute, I got to untape it. Okay. All right. So here's the ring light right here. So what I do is I have it, here's here's the stick right here. This is my yard stick that my camera hangs off of, right? My camera hangs off right there and faces down. Okay, so here's the ring light, and I have it clamped 
right on here on my build there's it's clamped on right there then the cord goes across here here's the here's the switch then the cord comes across there and I have it taped there then it comes over here it comes over here and I have this taped taped to my table <laughs> so see the um, plug right there there's my iPad charger plugged in there and then it all goes down to down there on the floor to the bar so yeah it's like a little it's like a little uh, trail it's like a little trail going all the way up to the, and see and then here's the selfie stick part see here this is the foam part so and then whoop, whoop, there's the ring light and then right here is where I have the camera hanging so I'll put the camera back on the little stick there we go that's the way we have it. Now I gotta tape that. I gotta tape this cord back. Where's my oh the tape's up there? Let me tape this back up here. So my cord's not hanging in the scene. So that is how we have it broke down. There we go. Okay. So the glare is gonna be there, you know because it's shiny yeah well that it wasn't quite long enough miss Roma that's why I had to bring the plug I taped the plug to my table edge because the plug the the it's not that long it won't reach to the floor from up here now if I plug if I clamp it to my desk then it reaches the floor but then it's not a it's not a centralized it's not right here if, if it's clamped on my desk and over here, then it's nice and bright here, but it's dark over here, you see. So it has to be, um, yeah, it has to be plugged up, up there. Yeah. Okay, so now let's see. Oh, i got to get my collage stuff out. That's where we were headed. Okay, hang on. Alright, do I want this bin? I think I got this big bin out here. This is probably about the four inch size bin of collage stuff. So let me move some of my paints though. I'm gonna move my paints over on this side. So I have my collage box right here. So I got my big collage box right here. So yeah, this is we're gonna, I'm going to pull out, out of this, okay? Sorry for all the movement. If you're one that gets sick, don't email me. Don't throw up on the show and don't email me. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little, it's just a selfie. It's a selfie ring light. Although, I don't know how you would use it unless you're just sitting there taking selfies at the plug. Because you got it's not a rechargeable. It does not, it's not rechargeable, so. Okay, so let's see here. What do we want out of the box? Maybe some fractals. We love our fractals. It's a little big. I'm just flipping here. Of course, we have our mountains. I'm not sure what I want on these steps. I do like these little people. This is so busy as it is, though, you know. I'm going to have this down here is going to be, um, this is going to be outer space down here. I might have a waterfall here water here maybe the water's falling into space so i probably need me some planets where's my marble book <laughs> the glare is there but don't despair to have no light would not be fair Dee, Dee has really nice hair <laughs> prisma I love you. You're awesome. You have to write that down. I hope you write these down. I would love to have them all written down. 
That was so cute. And speaking of my hair, I did, I cut my, I cut six inches off my hair. My hair is now just past my shoulders. I cut about six inches off for the summer. Get all the, you know, dead ends, frizz. I cut, I cut about this much. Well, maybe about five inches. So... That portable power now, yeah, and you know, but I'm I'm not going around taking selfies, so it's not like something, you know. I bought it just to for this. I bought it just to sit right here, like not going anywhere, you know. It's just for, um, it's just for uh, this. Sue's got me this book, by the way. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's get us some planets going on. I'm looking at the colors here. Oh, these. Okay, I'm going to tear both these pages. This one, actually like these too. So I'm going to go with these three pages for now. And we'll decide going off of these. <clears throat> Alright, which ones do I like? Because I'm, th I'm seeing all the green and teal. This, is, this green right there is like, a, it's a bright grass green. What book is that? that? It's the marble book. Um, somebody else had sent me, well, I don't think it was Suze that sent me the first one. Was it, wasn't Azure? Who sent me the first one? Um, anyway, it's the, Ag, it's Aggies, Emmys, Shooters, and Swirls. It's a, it's like the history of the marbles, the magical world of marbles. Now, she had to buy it used. Um, she got it at, offline at a used, used place, used bookstore, or used a Goodwill. I forget, but I don't think you can buy it new. On Amazon. I'll give you the ISBN. 08212-20012. And let's see what date it is. 1994. So somebody had sent it to me and I literally used the whole book. Every page except maybe two or three marbles. I used every single page out of the book so Suze hunted it down hunted it down and um, <laughs> Terry as we call her the old gal <laughs> I'll tell the story in case because I don't think Suze is going to come in before we hit record um, I was, ta I was talking about, uh, cleaning my space out here, you know, throwing away stuff, cleaning out closets and all that. And I said that Suze, the one that got me this one, Suze was uh, going to come down and, and help me sort out. Denise is good about helping me throw things away, but she doesn't know like the nuances of art supplies. See, I need someone to help me that knows the nuances of art supplies, right? Because then you know why somebody wants to keep something. You know, Denise is like, oh, you don't need those toilet paper rolls? Make a book out of them. What are you talking about? Trash, trash, trash. But Sue's at least would take the stuff, take the stuff that I don't want, right? So I told her, you know, anything I was going to throw away, she could have. Now, any of my half-done art, I'm going to, I'm not going to give away my half-done art because I don't want my half-done art out in the world. You know what I mean, Vern? I'll cut it up, make art cards or something. But, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, chipboard and scrapbook paper and, you know, all that stuff. You know, I just, I can't throw it away. You don't throw that stuff away. Well, anyway, so we were talking this morning about Sue's coming down and helping me go through the stuff. Well, at the same time, there was another conversation. Terry was talking about her dog. <laughs> Terry was talking, I, I'm not going to, I know I'm not going to get the exact conversation right, Terry. But she was talking about that old, that old gal. That old gal. <laughs> she was talking about her dog. And I said, well, I don't think, I don't think Sue's is that old. I think she's like in her 30s or 40s. I don't think she's that old. <laughs> Jennifer asked, yeah, Jennifer was asking something about her dog. And and Terry replied, that old gal. And I replied, well, I don't think Sue's is that old. <laughs> anyway, now my eyes are watering again from laughing. <laughs> but she wasn't talking about Sue's. And I wasn't, I missed the whole conversation about the dog. <laughs> so anyway, Sue's found this book. 
at a at a Goodwill used bookstore somewhere and found it and sent it to me. And I'm using it up just like I was the other one. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I kind of like this with the red in it, and it's got the teal. Let's cut let's cut a couple out and we'll be able to tell. And I also have a I have punches too. I could punch these out. <clears throat> I'll show you here. Let me get a let me get a punch. So I'll show you. And I got two sizes. I got rid of almost all my punches. I kept two rounds, a square. I kept about four punches back when I got when Denise was helping me clean out. So I did get rid of a lot of that stuff. And I've got rid of a lot of stamps, napkins. I've done giveaways on all that. <laughs> I know it's funny. So when he Anyway, you don't have to, you know, if even if you don't use the exact whole thing, like, look. So, like, right there. So, I can just punch it. It's a lot easier. Right? <clears throat> and then you just got to cut away the excess so that you can get the punch over there. So, I'll have planets galore out of this book. paint them too. I mean, I paint my own, but, you know, sometimes it's just fun to, you know, lose your marbles. <laughs> so off of that page, and there's nothing on the back. So off of that page, we got th these tilted a little, so there's not a glare. Let's see. Let's go with this one again. Let me just... And these half ones, those are good too. If it's less than that, I usually don't use them. Is that, is that a right hook or just plain punching? Yeah, just plain punching. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off and I'll get all these half... Because these are, these are great. I'm telling you, look. You know, you can do like there. Or there. Or actually, they're going to be down here. Because this, this is where the outer space is going to be. And I have the smaller one, too, for smaller marbles. Um, so let me just go ahead and punch these all out while I got it right here. So I'm thinking this color, these teal colors. This one's a little bigger. I think I want to keep this one a larger size. Of course, you can do contrasting colors. Hey, Mountain Dreamer. Late for school. <laughs> Get a demerit. <laughs> uh oh, hang on, I lost my chat, guys. Let me uh, let me reload. Uh, reload frame. <laughs> hang on, there we go. Should have come back now. I don't know if y'all lost me for a minute. <clears throat> if you lost me, I mean, I'm still recording everything, but chat might have done something. So you might have to refresh. Yeah, we're working in abandoned places. The original first one that I got and started working in. Let's see here. You have to make room for the, you know, the punch to fit on there. This one's pretty cool. All right, so let's see what colors I want. And if they're too all, you don't want them all the same size, you can, you can cut them down, you know, or take the smaller punch and then punch them smaller. Or just hand cut them. Most of the time I hand cut. What I like to use the punches for is if you have, let me see an example. Let me find a little piece of something, something in here. Okay, here's a little bit piece of painty paper, right? A little piece of painty paper. Just 
if you don't know where to find a planet, then you just make your own. See? Pick the most interesting areas. So you can just, uh, you don't have to have marbles. Look, that looks very similar to the marbles. Where do you find the book? You can find it on Amazon. Let me show you the cover again. Abandoned Places. Kieran Connolly is the, I guess, the photographer. K-I-E-R-O-N Connolly. Two N's, two L's. Um, but there's tons of different ones. I have four I'm working in. I'm working in four different ones. This is going to be water, so my space is going to be down here. So I want to kind of, the, there's these blue, tealy blue and green, and I want to tie that in over here. So I think I want this one. This one and maybe this orange one. No, I like this size better. Those three, I think. Maybe I need a watch part right there. Hmm. Do I like that one better? No. No. Maybe. I'm liking that. Now, do I want this one here, here, or here? It, something needs to go there, but that throws my balance off. I don't want these all lined up like little soldiers. I think that'll work better. So I think that's where they're going to go. All right, so we're going to use those three. Now, do I want any over here in this water, though? Maybe. Maybe I want one over here. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Those would look good on the building. Now I'm gonna have this is gonna be outer space. It's gonna have space. So I got that it kind of in my head. Alright, so I'm gonna have those three and that one. Alrighty. Okay, now I need a watch. Hmm, do I wanna dig one out or just do I have some cut out? I know I have some in here. Let's see if I can just find a watch out of this pile. Or do I want something a little bigger? I might want this one. Oh. It's bigger than my punch. I can't punch this out. Sometimes I'll save this because these make great arches for, here I'll show you, like this. I won't cut it all the way out right now because I don't want to take the time. So like the, the outer edge of the watch, this makes a great door or, you know, portal, so they like See what I mean, Burn? That, that's not bad. Maybe. Maybe. A little sample. Hang on, I'm going to pick up. A, I'm rolling over everything. Uh, let's see. Maybe I will do that then. It just fits just right, except right there. Let me trim this down. Okay. All right. A little bit of fussy cutting here for a minute. So what's everybody else working on today? Well, it could look like a beach ball, but it's going to be in, it's going to be stars in there. <laughs> but the beach ball maybe symbolize, you know, it's again, I like for people to see what they want to see in the collage, in the worlds. You know, you you you'll, you might see something, well you probably will see something different than what I in, in, intended it to be. But um, that's the point.
you know? Are you going to use the blue and white ones? Nope, I'm going to use these, these, just these, this one and these three. Okay, so now, do I want the red though? Hmm, let me look at some of these other little bits. See, this has got some gold and stuff in it. And the sienna. This is a good one. So I think what I want to do is I want to have time laid out on the steps. So let's see how I can work this. And I don't know if I want them on the edge. Do I want them, we'll see, straight on. But I like the ones that are kind of the golden colors. Do I want one above that door? I probably need a littler one there. That. I like the way the steps are tilted different ways. That gives me more options. That one's not quite bright enough, I don't think. I need a little bit brighter gold. That one's not, that's kind of dull. I just know it when I see it. I'm working on a Bible study journal and coloring in your my new book. What, what color books are you working in? You're working on your Amazon account, Bumblebee? <laughs> That's a good one. I'm working on my Amazon <laughs> cart. <laughs> See, I put a little tiny one up there. Okay, I need one, two, or three, four more. Let's see. I need a little bitty something, something for right above that door. Maybe the no, it's not gold enough. Let's see. I'm gonna have to dig out some more gold ones. <clears throat> and you, there's all kinds of watch magazines, watch books, books on watches. Some of these came out of the one that Vicky Br sent me. And if anybody ever hears from Vicky Br, oh, I like these too. Um, I'm missing our Vicky Br. This little piece might work over the door. Just cut it down a little bit. But she sent me a book of watches, and I pull a lot of them out of there. Like a whole history of watches, or I don't know if it's a history. Like right there. That's oh, still not quite bright enough, but maybe it'll work. Okay, so now let's go back to the book, because this is all the ones I have pulled right here. I think I've got all... Oh, wait, here's one gold one. That's good. That's good. I need another one. don't have any more. That one's too dull. All right, let me look in my book. Oh. I just talked to Vicki. You did, Sherry? How's she doing? And where did you talk to her? I haven't seen her online anywhere. Where did you see her, Sherry? We need to know. Okay, here's some more gold ones. I'm working on several books. I do need to do this. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I work on. I'm working on four. See, that's too similar. It's not going to stand out. Maybe if I did that up there, then this one could come. See, it's still not quite bright enough. I need a brighter gold. Maybe. Hmm. Because it's going to get lost in there. I, well, of course, I can always paint around it, you know, make it stand out. That's a little better. 
So maybe that one on the edge there. This one on that edge. I want them on the edge so it looks like they're on the edge. Okay. Now, do I need one more right here, maybe? Little one. Or right here. Yeah. Need that one there. This needs to be a little right. Cut that point off there. Because that's going to need to bit blend into that building right there. And I'll do that with paint. Okay. Come back there. Get them lined up. Okay. She's good, okay. What brand and size is my circle punch? Well, I don't know. Um, Paper Shaper. And this one is, paper. they're both Paper Shapers. Um, all the pink, washi tapes or the little the, I don't know if it was washi tape back in the this is the old Heidi swap tapes I used to put pink because I'd go to all these um, you know uh, crops and archivers and different you know demos and it was on design teams and stuff so I put pink Heidi swap tape on all my supplies so I would remember you no know, everybody would know they were mine um, so th this one is a one and a quarter. So I'm thinking this is probably a two, two inch. Connie is mind mapping all your different brands of color pencils. Are you making things that go with the colors? I mean, like when you write down yellow, are you branching out everything yellow? Is that how you're mind mapping it? Yeah, we did that with, uh, we did that with our colors. A while back okay so I'm gonna start with this let me just get out a little bit and I, I'm gonna I want some more stuff too but I got to glue this down because I'm gonna keep moving it around so let me get a uh, I threw away a whole bunch oh there's a couple more I threw away a whole bunch <laughs> I seriously threw away a bunch of my lids here because you know I only can use so many at a time now this is all dry and the thing about they do peel up kind of cool but I don't use paint skins but it's the back side that's all smooth and shiny they really are cool I'll throw a couple in the drawer but uh, I don't save them all right so I'm going to throw out some matte medium and I put my matte medium oh, I use the golden matte medium but let me get a brush here So just to show you a couple variations. So this is what the, the matte medium is. It's gold. I can't get any closer because of the light. But it's golden matte medium. It's not gel. It's not gel medium. It's just matte medium. And you can get in these smaller jars. You can get them in bigger jars. And it's not cheap. I, I mean, it's just not. But nothing works to me like golden matte medium. Did you use a two-inch one? Yeah, these, this one, this one, yeah, I used the two inch on all of them, I guess. Would you mind showing on camera the acrylic color Prussian blue and primary blue? Um, I don't know if I have, well, maybe primary. Yeah, it, let me glue this down first because they're, they're not sitting still. Where was that one? Oh, that one's right there. Let me glue these down. And then, um, if you can put it in, my, my dishwasher broke uh, a couple weeks ago. I got a new one. But while, I, while it was broken, I, you know, had to do the dishes. So, I got me a, you know, I think I got a little bit left. I don't know if this was a new jar, a new bottle. But anyway, when you get done with a, it doesn't have to be Dawn. It can be, and it can be anything with a snap, right? Um, Sunset Carol's the one that told me about this trick. And it's just so easy to squeeze out how much you need. 
right? And then close the lid. It's the best thing for your matte medium. All right, so let me go ahead and glue these down real quick. And my glue brush, all my glue brushes stay in water. So they stay soft and flexible. They're the only brushes that I leave in water. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue... So I glue them down, and then these might not need it because the pages are kind of th thicker. But if it's anything big that's going to wrinkle, you need to have, and see, like right there, it's right on the bend. This is right on the bend of the book. So I'm going to kind of have to hold that down for a second to get it to, because it's, it's on the curve. Um, take your, um, an old credit card or gift card and mash everything down. Okay, and I put it on the substrate, whatever your base is, and on the back, and over the top. And that makes it really mashed down well, no wrinkles. Oh, they're doing a, they're doing a tornado test. They do it on the sunny day so you don't think there's a tornado. The tornado siren. It's a beautiful sunny day so everybody knows it's a test. <laughs> Just so you know how, to, how well you're going to hear it if there was a warning. Whoops, I moved that one. Thanks, Jody. Hi, Mink. Okay. I'll mash that one down again. Okay, let's get these other two down. This one I want right on the edge. Alright, did I get them all? Let's make sure. Alright, let's do this. aside for a minute. Okay, I missed something. I missed something about working well with ink tins or something that flew off the screen. I miss, you know, some chat, guys. Even if you put it in caps, you know, it does move pretty quickly. And if I look away for a second to glue or paint something, I, I do miss. So if I if I don't answer, just put it in again. Uh, Lost in Space is going to be on Netflix. Yeah, the remake. Okay, so Alrighty. Okay. See it's a very busy one. I might have to paint some stuff out. There's a glare right there. Maybe I can prop that up a little, I don't know. My ring light glare. Um see we thought you were ignoring me. Uh, hi, Dot. No, I didn't. Dot, to tell you the truth, that's the first thing I've seen you say. Just now. That's the first time I even knew you were here. <laughs> so, good morning, Dot. <laughs> and CB. I didn't know CB was here either. Um, it looked pretty intense, the new Lost in Space. Um, so, good morning, anybody I missed. Okay, so the question was... True blue and Prussian blue. Let's see if I have this ultramarine. Let's see what blues I have here. Do I, I know I have a true blue somewhere, like basic true blue. There's prima, primary blue. Okay, I'll show you the... And I, let me see if I have a, a Prussian. Prussian's pretty dark, I think. 
Yeah. Okay. So here's the, the for the one that asked me on the blues. Okay. So this is ultramarine. Well, see, so you're gonna have to come look at it from here. There we go. Ultramarine. Primary. Primary. And and pri Let me shake it up. Can you see? Okay. Ultramarine, which is the brightest. This is like a true blue, your primary blue. And the Prussian blue has a little, it's a little bit greener. Not much, but it's just a little bit, see? The true blue is, no, no, no. The true, well, I think true blue, oh, I don't know. I thought true blue was the primary. Let's see. Hmm. I thought true blue was primary blue. Let me see if I have a true blue. Nope, I just got primary. I don't have anything that says true blue. Maybe they changed the name or maybe I just don't have a true blue. So again, this is uh, ultramarine. It's the brightest. All right, this is primary. And this one, which is just a little bit darker, is the Prussian. Asking for the colors. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I don't know if there is a true blue. If there is, I don't know. All right, Michaela. So there you go. All right. My favorite is slate blue and uh, uniform blue. Let me show you those two. Blue Harbor. Maybe it's Blue Harbor. Is it Slate? Yes. It's not called Slate. It's Blue Harbor. I think there's a Slate, too. Let's see. Yeah, Blue Harbor. So, I, I love... Um, let me shake it. These are my favorite blues. Uh-oh! <gasps> Ooh, dang. That went flying. Hit the edge of my lappy. <laughs> I ordered the deep midnight blue, but it seems a sad color. Well, uniform blue is kind of a sad color in that sense. <laughs> and then here is blue harbor. Baby blue is like really, really, um, like light blue. See, this is like a baby blue. That is, it's called baby blue. Baby blue. Blue Harbor, Uniform Blue. These are the colors that I, now I like my dark indigo color, which let's see, what is that one called? Hang on. Is it the Prussian Blue that's the indigo -ish color? Let me look. Yeah, I think it's the Prussian Blue that's the darkest. It's more on the indigo. I like that one too. All righty. Yeah, I like slate blue too, but I, I don't know where. I think blue harbor and slate are pretty close. Okay. All right. So now I need to prop this up just a little so that there's not a glare. Let me find a small journal or something to put under there. A book. Here, let's try this. Let's try our crafter's book of motifs. It's thick. So I think it'll prop this up enough so that it... Uh, takes the glare off a little. Well, still not high enough. Maybe if I move my ring light a little. I don't know. Nope, that's going to make it too dark. My ring light's doing its job. But it puts a circle on the shiny bits. Okay. Um, so let's see. I don't know if I need this anymore. If I just go to the edge, that's when you need the matte medium. I mean, the uh, when you glue things with matte medium, because you'll glue your book together. All right. What else do I want to add now? Let's see. Do I want something...
I love this ad. I think it's an alcohol. Yeah, it's something alcoholic. <laughs> I love the. I love the ad. Isn't that cute? What else can we pick? Do I want some jewels? Do we want a bird? No, not sure about a bird. Angels. And I got all kinds of, you know, I got all my deli papers, but I don't need any more texture on. This is very busy. It's like it's the work for the texture has already been done for me because it's got so much texture already. Hmm, do I want to put a girl? Everybody likes when I put the people in there. Let's just test one out. No, I lost my scissors. There they are. I don't keep very many magazines. I think I keep one Vogue around. Just to have an occasional fashion something. And I, I keep one to show how to do your um, practice drawing shapes. I want to get. I want to do another um, segment with uh, drawing on the right hand side of the drawing on the right side of the brain, since a darkened lady Terry sent me the workbook, which I never had the workbook. I have the book since the 70s, but I had I never had the workbook. So she sent me the workbook. So that would be a good one to do some shape practicing practicing uh, how to draw shapes <clears throat> so I think we'll go with her I need to cut this down a little bit on an angle the other way so she's kind of tilting the other way I like her there. I think Lost in Space for your abandoned book. <laughs> Since this is my first time viewing the art books, is the idea to create images within the pages of that book you are using? It's just to use it. It's just to use it. You, you can do whatever you want. There's no rule to it. You know? It's to make your own little worlds out of the worlds that are there. But not everybody likes abandoned books. Some people think they're sad. I I love the I love the abandonedness of them. But then I like watching abandoned videos, abandoned malls videos, the abandoned what was it called, Terry? The the one we watched all the time, the guy with the roller. Um, Skateboards abandoned. So there's a little bit of a shine there, guys. I'm trying to keep the my book is not helping much. It's not really helping at all. Let me. Uh, it's really bright and sunny now. I think that's part of it. It's not the ring light now. It's very very sunny. Um, abandoned something. I forget. A No, it wasn't abandoned America. What was it called, Terry? Abandoned. I forget. Okay, so there's a little bit of a shine there, guys. I really can't get rid of it because it's the light's right there. Okay, so I'm liking that. Now I think I just need to start painting some things in. I'm not going to need this. Do I want anything else in here? Do I want any flowers or jewels or anything else? You need a crown. Too pink. I'm just digging through this big pile here. Do I have any flowers here? I thought I had a little bundle of florals. Oh, 
of taking them out. Put them in another. Ah, here we go. I think there's some flowers. No. Nope. I do like this little bit of... I get so busy now. I think we're probably good. Because there's so much going on. You know? It's, it's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, well, I've got the staircase going there. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm going to stop. Because we're going to run out of time if I don't get crack a lacking. Because I want to do that other... I want to do another quick video. Let me see. Wait, I know where some, fla some flowers might be. Let me look in here. Ah, here we go. All right, let me just grab a handful here. All right, I've got a handful of floral stuff. Do I want any of this? It's going to have to be the right color. Oh, I like these. Maybe. It's so busy, though. You know? It's very busy. Some pretty blue stuff. I think I better do the rest with paint. I better do the rest with paint, although I love these tulips. I'm just thinking like a little row of them or something. Hmm, not sure. Might have enough already. I don't know if I got that glued down. Hang on, let me stick a little bit of missed a corner there. Hey, hey Dot. <laughs> you say I'm sure you did, Dot, yeah. Okay. I think everything's pretty dry. Alright, let's do a little scraping, a little splattering. Okay, my brown's running into the... Let me add a little bit of water right there on the edge because I want a little splatter. Let's get, a, let's get one of these... Uh, just a floppy brush here. A little bit of star action. And because it's got matte medium on it, you can wipe away where you don't want it. So I just want it down here and over here in the pool. So any place else it gets, I'm going to wipe it away. That's going to have a water. Well, I could probably put a little bit up there with the water because it's going to be a waterfalls. That'll be nice. A little much. I'll go ahead and do that. This is a very, this is way busier than I usually do. Well, no, sometimes they're busy. Not usually this busy, but. Okay. A goldfish? <laughs> oh, no. I put the girl in there. I like that little fractal. It's too much color already. We've got enough. All right, let me dry this now. It's going to be space. I mean, I could put a goldfish in space, but this is like an, another dimension over here. But it's not going to be a pool. It's going to be stars. There's the without the glare there. It takes a second to dry all these uh, stars. This looks like a little tree stump there. I think I'm gonna turn that into a little a little monk or something. You'll see that right there. I 
actually, I think she needs a watch on her head. Hang on. I think I want to, because I think I want her to be the focal, so let's see. Hang on, let me dig out another watch part here. Here's another gold one. I like this one, too. But it probably needs to be gold, because that's the, let's test this one out right here. may not be big enough. Needs to be bigger. Hang on. Let me let me dig, guys. Let me dig a minute. I'm not gonna settle. Let me just get the book. I'm gonna flip through the book faster than dig. Hmm. Oh, now this one's got flowers in it. Hang on. That one's kind of cool. It's got all the colors that we're using here. I'm thinking this might be the one. Hope y'all are just enjoying the process or working on something yourself. Do I want the, more of the orange or more of the blue? Some of both. I think I want some of both. So let's go this way. There we go. All right, let me glue that down. a gel pen for the stars yeah you could um, the thing and I do that sometimes I'll I'll go back with my Posca at the end and add star shine some bigger stars I'm gonna sh pencil in some nebulas and stuff like that um, which reminds me I do need some matte medium right here I don't think I got any uh, the matte medium the matte medium on the shiny shiny parts is what allows you to do penciling over because the pencil your your prismacolor your pencils are not going to work on the shiny part of the the book so you got to get rid of the shine you either got to paint over it with acrylic um, I guess you know you could use clear gesso or whatever I'm just using matte medium so that serves the same purpose so with the matte medium on the book you can go in with pencil you can't you can't put pencil over the shiny parts of the book. You got to either paint it out or um, matte medium it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I got matte medium everywhere. And uh, this one little thing still doesn't want to quite stick down right there on the edge. If you want to use pencil. You know when you're watercoloring on the go and use a sweatband on the wrist to tap your... Um, I don't do watercolor on the go. <laughs> so I can say, um, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't be me, Miss Aroma. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one to really be uh, skateboarding and watercoloring at the same time with a sweatband. You had a bandage on uh, from your wrist? Yeah, yeah. No, no, just don't get it infected. If you had surgery, if you're using, um, you know, make sure that your paints don't get in the wound. Um, yeah. All right, let me dry this again here. My glare just happened to be right there on her. Maybe I can move the camera down a little. I 
to dry. All right, let me move all these flowers out of the way. All right, now, now some painting. Some painting, painting. All right, let's go back. Let's start up in here. I got some blue and white right here. Let me get a paintbrush. Cut me a flat. That one's too little. This one might be too big, but we'll go with it. Okay, let's get some water on it. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to... My paint's starting to harden up here. It's been sitting here for a while. So now I'm just going to start painting things out and in and playing. All right, so... Too much water in that white. Let's make another batch. So this is my favorite part. Let's see, I'll zoom in one. My favorite part is working on the details. When did you figure out about color pencils work on my acrylic paint? I don't know, because I've used both for forever, Connie. I don't remember when. Does it matter? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I started using it in color books. I mean, I didn't know anybody that used acrylic paint in color books. But I've used acrylic paint and pencils in my collages for a long, long, long time. So I thought, well, if it works on my collages, why won't it work on a color book? So almost all my color books have a base. Of acrylic paint or, you know, I try to use other things too, just so people know that they can use other things. Oh, so anyway, what I was going to say about the stars is. Um, you can do all this with your Posca or a gel pen. Posca is better than gel pen shows up better. You can do all that with the Posca, but it's not going to look as random. See how random the stars look when you when you just splatter? It's much more random. But at the same time, I will go in there. Let's just stop a minute. Let me get my pencils. Let me clean my brush out real quick. Okay, I gotta move these books. They're gonna get wet. <clears throat> and I turn this into nebulas. So it's a little, again, it's a little flashed out, but we'll have to work with it. Um, so let's get some blue. Let's see, I think I want some blue, maybe some orange. I think I'll go with orange. Two orange. I need dark orange, orange. Here we go. This orange. There we go. So I'm going to use some of the color that's in this stone here, and I'm going to pull it out and make it into nebulas. I call it nebulization. <laughs> I would never have thought that it makes such a yeah. It well, I'll tell you how you would know. The first time you tried to put pencil on a shiny book and it didn't work, you would know. <laughs> You'd know right away. Because it won't it won't go down. Okay, so I got some blue down here. Now do I want to carry any I think I want to keep the green just those, you know, over here and here. And I'm going to have water coming down uh, uh, in some areas. So, all right. So once you get your color in like this, right? And you can pull some out too. Like, um, let me get a little bit of. Do I want a little bit of orange? Maybe a little lighter orange here. 
That one's full. Got to find a spot here. Oops, didn't shake it up enough. Take a baby wipe. Maybe a little white in there. A little white and orange. And I mash it into the baby wipe. That's why I do this on my hand. I'm mashing the paint into the baby wipe. See, come right across there. If it's not bright enough, get a little white. And then you can wipe it back. Get too much. Something like this. How did I pick my palette based on the colors in the piece? Based on the colors in the picture. I picked the planets based on the blue. And you can't really see it, guys. It's There you go. See the blue and green in that pond? That's how I picked the colors. Okay. So now I want to dry that. Hey, Judy, Patootie. Thanks, Terry. All right, so now take your Posca, and this is where you can add extra um, things. Um, do I want a couple smaller? Okay, let me just go in and show you this then. All right, so like I might want a star shine right here on the edge of this one. That's a little far, but let's make it a little thicker. Make it stand out. And then when this is dry, let me dry it. Now I can take white and orange. Where's the Maybe the brighter. And the reason my pencil works is because the matte medium. something like that but I can do smaller ones too like let's say we want a couple of um, do I want let's go ahead and do it with the paint here I'm gonna pick up the paint on the end of a brush let's do a couple smaller planets that just have some color in it that one let's just do a couple of orange ones maybe maybe one over here on this one And you gotta let that dry or, or hit it with the heat gun. Can't put pencil on wet paint. Yeah, that exactly. That's why they're nebulous. They're nebulization. I love space, water, and time. I try to put that somehow in most all my all my collage. I think hopefully that's dry and now I'll take my white okay you could put rings on them if you want 
Okay, and then here is where you can take your Posca, and if you want extra stars, like let's just say you didn't get enough right there, or you want something bigger there, or, you know, this is where you can add the, the extras with the Posca or gel pen. I just like the Posca paint pen. Okay, maybe a little... and she's going to have watch hands coming out of her the top of her crown there all right but i gotta gotta get crack a lack in here all right because this is gonna have water and water let's see i think i'm gonna need i could splatter but i will go ahead and just pop in a couple here and i think i want a star shine right inside here Because what I'm going to do is turn this into a little monk. There's a little piece of wood, like a tree, a little piece of tree there. But I think I'm going to paint me in a little monk. Let's see. Turn it into a little person. Just essence of person there. And then we'll put a little highlight here. So it just looks like a little person standing there. Need a little more shoulder, I think. Something like that. So, again, sorry for the glare there. All right, so let me dry that. I want to make sure that's dry before I put some... Okay, I'll sharpen this blue. can't get much close that's one thing about the ring light when I try to get it up close bring it up closer to you it um I can't I could probably zoom in one but I'm pretty close okay now what else did I want to do here let's put another circle because you got two circles on this side I want one over here and there isn't one so let's put one there And maybe some kind of something on top of there, like it's some kind of a building something. And get rid of some of this white. Needs 
I think, well, maybe that's good enough. I think it might need some black in there. Oops. Grab some yellow accidentally in there. Check my time. Okay, I got about 30 minutes on this segment before, you know, 30, 40 minutes before the time. Because they give you two hours and about 40 minutes in a segment. Then I have to start over. And I want to be able, I'm going to do a quick, um, I'm going to do another video where I'm doing my Bailey J giveaway book. which I wanted to do last week and we never got to it. So now all these little details like this, this is what's fun for me. It came together fast, did it? <laughs> I don't know if it came together that fast, really. It's just got a lot of busyness to it that I'm not, you know, I usually don't have that much busyness. Okay, so um, do I want a little bit of accenting like this as a path? Do I want that to continue around? See, I'm thinking that this would be nice to come around this way. That white. But maybe not. I'd have to do a lot of painting. See, I'm thinking this could come around and connect there, but I'm not going to have time for that. So, I'll have to kind of settle. Let me get a fresh baby wipe. I think I just smet, just got paint all over my face. Let me wipe my face down there. Yep, <laughs> I got paint on my face. I thought I did. All right. Now I gotta do my watch hands, her, I got to kind of do something here. Do I want the blue to come down? Do I want some blue designs in her clothes? I kind of like her in black. But I think I want this to come down. The orange and the blue. Let's see, where's my flat brush? I always pick this up. I always pick up a uh, fill. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's go with some orange and white again. Let's see what I can do here. It's not orange enough. I need more darker orange. Just a little bit. I know you can't see that. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And then on this side, I'm going to need a little bit of teal. I 
think I'll make this almost like a waterfall coming down her. Paula, good to see you. Finishing up a collage here. Well, altered, altered uh, mixed media, altered collage in the abandoned book. to put some watch hands on here. I need some num bigger numbers, I think. That's what I need. Do I have time to do that? I just can't get that <laughs> glare to go away, guys. I'm holding it halfway closed. The book's half closed just to get it to look like this. back out because I'm going to do my watches and some water up here at the top and you got to see the whole book. Okay. Camera's crooked. Okay. All right. Now I need water up here but I want to do the watch hands next. So I think I'll go ahead and do those. Do I want a brown Posca? I want black on hers, but brown might be less uh, 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 obtrusive. So let's see. It may or may not show up. I may need more. Because I'm going to put a white highlight too, but yeah, it's not going to be. I don't think that's going to be dark enough. It's going to have to be black to show up. But I like our little person standing at the door. Uh. Okay. Oh, I gotta let that dry or hit it with the heat gun. Let me go ahead and do these up here. And some are gonna have three hands. going to be different. Now that's hard to see. I'll take a picture of it. As soon as we're done, I'll put, a, put it on Twitter. All right, let me dry her hair. I think I want orange. 
and teal. I, I think I have a blue and an orange. Watch hands. And I've got to highlight all those. So let me get an orange. Let's do orange and then a shadow. Okay, let's see here. I gotta turn it so I can get a straight line. Now I'm trying to get it to. <laughs> hey, well, let's see what else we can do. All right, I think I need a little black. Close here, let's go a little around the edge. Paint starting to crust up. Will I have time to varnish? Um, the thing about varnish, I have to make sure I'm completely done. Because you can't put anything on, on top of varnish. So, as long as I'm 100% sure I'm done. Alright, so let's see. Now, let me dry this because I want to do something else on these watches. go with the white Posca and do the highlights here. Just slightly. I know you can't see that. Let's try to zoom in again. Can you see that little bit of... Oh. There. A little bit of the highlights on the watch hands there. I'm going to do these now. Those. Got to make sure I'm not smearing it. Okay, this one. Just a little. Gonna turn it. I can't draw a straight line. Here. 
there's the other one. I need a blue. The multiple clock just put this on. <laughs> oh, thanks. I got to do the water now. And I do want a star shine on the end of, uh, end of her. I'm trying not to get my hand in anything that's still wet. I should hit it with the heat gun. Let me dry it. Okay, you see I need a few extra details. And I still got to do my water at the top. This needs to have a little bit more bright there. Let's see, I could use a little bit more in her hair. Okay. Then I need some my water. All right, I gotta back out again so I can y'all can see the whole thing. Thanks, Jody. I'm enjoying it. It's just you know you gotta. I got about ten minutes. <laughs> got about ten minutes. All right, so I want water up here, and I think I want some mist. Do I might want some water because it's already kind of crusty looking like. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and get some water. I'm going to have mist coming across here and some over here. But I also want some water. Let's see here. Come in. Almost wrapping this up. What's up? Oh, okay. No, not yet. I'll wait, I'll wait till I get done eating. I mean, here before I eat. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Don't go overboard, dear. Uh, you make some fresh here? Um, yeah, I'll take some fresh coffee. It's probably turned off yeah, by me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can y'all see the water? of it here a little pool of water kind of there and kind of drip down here let's have a little pool of it running right there
Hang on, guys. I'm not looking at chat. I'm trying to get this wrapped up. The detail, yeah, no, it's this the detail, right? But that's the last thing you do, and some, and it, it's my favorite part, but it's also the most time consuming. It's usually when I'm doing it when I'm running out of time. <laughs> you know, I'm usually doing it the last, last bit. Oh, thanks, Judy. I'll try to get the shine off of it here in a minute. Okay. Hold it up so I can get the glare off it and see the whole thing. too much right there. Okay, now I gotta do over here. Come over here. So I need a little bit of dark. I need some of the dark blue up under here so that the water shows over the top. Hold it up a little so you can maybe see it. some dark up under here. All right, let me dry that.
sorry guys I got all quiet but I'm trying to trying to get this done and been holding my breath <laughs> get my mist in because I'm going to run out of time. I got about five minutes. Let me let me take a minute to dry this. I have a couple of pasta details in my mist. Let me back out again. All right, add a little bit of pasta. A few little extra bright bits don't want them too harsh just want a little brighter here and there I did some little mountains way back in there. Pyramids or something way back there. All right. Mist. Then we're going to be done with this one. All right. So I'm going to get wa um, white paint, mash it into the baby white. Mash, mash, mash. Okay. Very gently. Just here and there. Just a little bit of mist. A little bit of fog. It's probably very subtle. You might not be able to see it very well. Okay, I think I'm done. A little bit lighter over here. That green's pretty stark. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's see here. It's not moving. There it goes. It's not wanting to move. 
Okay, so I can't get it any closer with my light because it'll just flash out. But I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it on Twitter. Okay, and what I usually do is I put a couple pencils. This is how I, this is how I, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, you know, put a watermark. <laughs> This is my version of a watermark. Let me go ahead and take a picture so I can move it here. There's put these pencils right there. That's this is my version of a watermark. <laughs> Maybe a paintbrush too. Paintbrush would be good. Maybe a black one. That one's kind of bent. Maybe a bit better get a different one that doesn't look like I don't have a decent paintbrush. I have nice paintbrushes, but you know. There's a good one here. This one maybe. So I'm gonna take a quick picture. Don't go rolling off there. There we go. Alright, let me take a quick picture, guys. And if y'all hang around, well, you don't have to hang around because it's going to be on uh, YouTube. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a quick five minute video uh, of Bailey's the book I'm going to give away. Okay, let's see. Make sure my ring light's not in the way. Okay, so I'll post that on Twitter in a minute. All right, so I hope y'all got to see that. I wonder. Yeah, I guess that's as good as it's going to get on the lighting. Maybe a little that away. Does that help? I'm using my new ring light, which I'm going to show you the difference. So, whoops, come back here, paint. I'm going to turn it off. Where's the clicker? Look. And you can also put on, uh, let me change it here, I think. The yellow light. See, look, there's yellow light. Come on, go back there. And there's blue light. Or white light, I should say. So, yeah. Embrace. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop this video, and if you want to hang on for a minute, I'm going to show Bailey J's book real quick and do, I'm going to add a video up to, uh, let me try to get some of this off my hands. I'll do a, a video for, I'm going to do, set up a YouTube giveaway. I'm going to set up a YouTube giveaway. I'm going to have to go wash my hands. So let me go ahead and save this. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to give away Bailey J's book on the next video. But I want to put it on its own video so I 